Hey guys, Darth Raven 2012 here, and I'll be showing you guys Plant Manon on Star Wars The Old Republic. They have finally added this. This is currently only available on the public test servers. So if you guys want to play on Manan and play the new Manan Flashpoint and check out the new Stronghold stuff and all that, you have to jump on the public set test servers at the moment. Which should also be pretty cool if you all jumped on here, because that way we can play test all this stuff, write down some feedback, and get this all improved on before it actually hits the live servers. So, let's jump straight to Manan. Manan is also one of my favorite plants from Star Wars, Knights of the Republic. Actually, I think it is my only favorite one. Next to Korriban, of course, and all that. So, let's travel right to it. Manan is located at the Korriban Worlds on the far right, as you guys can tell right over there. So, you have a nice little description here. Little planet. Travel cost, which is pretty hefty, if you ask me. I think they should at least charge half of it. Since it's so uh, close to the uh, Republic fleet and all that. Well, that's just me, hey. So, uh, you can guys see it. My nan's right there. And let's land right on it. Oopsie daisy. As you guys can see, a beautiful little landing cutscene, and the original Manan theme is back. They didn't replace it with just some generic song or whatever, they actually brought back the Manan theme. Theme, bleh. Which is pretty cool if you ask me. Really would have to type in Manan and show something like a Manan artwork or something. But anyway, uh, here it is, Manan. It does look like it's used some of the newer Hero Engine features, like the newer lighting and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. But there are a few things I do not like at the moment, so I'll definitely be walking around showing off the area and all that, but let me just complain about two things that are my biggest beef at the moment with the game. So, in the uh, landing cutscene, you saw us land for a spaceship, right? How the fuck did we get here by the space shuttle? Our spaceship didn't land in an orbital little space station or whatever. Well, we had to take a shuttle to land here, so that makes no sense if you ask me. If they want to correct that, they should make us land on an orbital space station and then take a shuttle down to the planet's surface. But in my opinion, what I would prefer is if they actually added some extra areas or we can uh, see our spaceship actually land into the, the hangar or something, and then if we go into the hangar bay and take our spaceship again to leave the planet, and we would have a little cutscene showing our um, spaceship getting out of the hangar and then flying out of the planet's surface and all that, like we uh, seen on Tatooine or on Terrace and stuff like that. It just adds a lot more to the game in my opinion, and I kind of like that. I kind of like seeing my spaceship land on the planet and then take off from the planet. And so the cheap little generic, oh look, there's a little shuttle. That doesn't even have an animation or whatever. Your screen just turns black and you're back at your ship or whatever. I think that's just a really cheap route. So hopefully it'll improve on that. And the second thing I don't like is the water effects. Like, this is a water world. There's obviously stuff living beneath the water surface. Yet, the water is so dull. Like, there's no waves, no clashes, nothing. I think they need to update that. They need to at least add some minor waves clashing against the little banana platform here because this just looks totally dull like, there's nothing underwater which obviously makes no sense there's a lot of water life in the banana but I don't know those two things there are some minor uh, glitches like there's no dirt like there's no dirt texture here which I already reported and stuff I also suggested that they should add some waves and stuff so hopefully they'll listen to the feedback I sent back and add that I haven't told them though add another area for like hangers and stuff so we can take off for, for spaceship from there and have a little cutscene. Maybe one of you guys can bother writing that down to them. Would be really appreciated. So let's check out the area here. So we have a mini bar here. The droids cleaning up. The floor is a mess over there. Cell calf. Judging a droid I guess for spilling its drink. Something I guess. Droid. Just chilling there, serving drinks to a cell calf and a Republic soldier. Let's move on. Oh yeah, it does look pretty nice.
Another thing I'd like to see them add is like uh, have some Cellcaf soldier patrols just patrolling the area and all that and add some dialogue for the NPCs because at the moment I don't think any of them talk so it's kind of really quiet which is a shame. Over here you see they actually have uh, dirt textures for the plants it's just these um, small little decorative uh, plants that don't have them. Oh, so calf. I'm really happy they added banana. And that's pretty cool. It's definitely one of my favorite plants. Planets. Ugh, I hope I didn't say plants. <laughs> and my throat's kind of dry, so yeah. I kind of like this. This looks pretty cool, to be honest. And here it kind of makes sense how the water's dull, but around the platform, that makes no sense in my opinion. Welcoming center. So if I'm correct, uh, this is for uh, this is like a little group phase entering uh, phase, or uh, which continues the Forged Alliance. So this is part two, and then it'll activate the little new flashpoint, which is the Manon flashpoint, which you can already directly activate if you just go into the group finder. But you'll skip the Forged Alliance part two story part. But yeah, overall, I like the way Manon looks. Makes me very happy. At the moment, you can't do anything on here besides just do the flashpoint and continue the story. There's like no dailies or whatever yet added into the game, which I'm sure they'll add very soon. Because if you pay attention here, let me just walk to the area first. So anyway, you can go down on the left or right, but anyway, if you go down there, there's this giant locked door. Wait. Oh shit, this area continues on. Alright, well, before we go there, let's take the other way down. I guess, never mind. I guess the left side is the only side you go down. Alright, anyway, if you go down here, you see there's a giant door that's closed up. And if you open up the map, there's a little submarine shuttle. So I think sometime down the road, it'll open up the door here. And that you uh, go underwater, and it'll probably be a new area to explore, or something like that. I'm not sure if that's gonna be like a daily area or not, but if it is, that's gonna be pretty cool. All right, let's see what's over here. I haven't checked this part of the uh, map yet, or area, whatever. Same thing. Ah, oh, there's something here. Ah, this is also reactivate the little new flashpoint. And there's also a submarine there. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'll probably do some more where I'm playing the flashpoint and stuff like that. But I hope you guys agree with my improvements that needs to happen for Manan. And until next time, peace.